My training tonight is, now we are officially in the season of distractions. Here's the reality. We're programmed to be consumers versus being producers and generators. Check the stats out. 49% of Americans will travel during summer. They're spending about four grand on vacation. So people are spending 366 a month to go on vacation and they can't even save 200 bucks for their retirement. People spend five to 10% of their income towards vacation, but they can't put five to 10% in to make sure that they don't work for another man for the rest of their life. And they're living paycheck too paycheck so we're programmed to what spend you guys consider yourselves entrepreneurs good in the first phase of your business it's called planting season right you got to plant the damn seeds it's process it's the process here's a problem sometimes with entrepreneurship I'm gonna plant and harvest all the same season doesn't work that way people put the minimum effort in and hope to get the maximum results they put Average efforts in and expect a great life. The opposite is true. Great performers and great entrepreneurs, what do they do? They worry if they're still average. It's a different level of awareness. By the way, I'm, this message right now, this portion right here I just told you, it's probably for about 10 of you in this office. Some of you guys, man, get, get, get out of my face. I'm gonna go take off for a month. Knock yourself out. Do your thing. However, don't be upset if the results you didn't get from the work they didn't cheat and put in. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Don't get upset for the money that you don't have, for the money that you didn't earn during the summer. Because you end up consuming it versus generating it. So the reason why I say this is if you enter the season unprepared, your Christmas right now is being planned by what you do today. Singles, watch out. Your danger, you're gonna party your ass off. The older I've gotten, the less I partied. You know why? I just couldn't deal with the hangover. Like the, the older I got, I'm like, oh bro, I just can't. Oh. Two days later, I'm still hungover. But when I was single, and you know, we shouldn't be having sex because, you know, man, but she says something and, you know, Netflix went on and. Distraction. Distraction. Yeah? I said, oh, my mom's here. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Married couples, what's your distraction? Vacations. Hey, honey, you know, all of our friends are going out. We need to go out too. You're comparing yourself to the Joneses. Right? But they don't have goals. You do. What else? Making 10,000 We know the hardest part about making 10,000 a month. You've never made it before? Holy moly, I got, a lot of, I got a lot of distractions. I got a lot of shit to buy. Buy this, buy that, buy this. Next thing you know, instead of making more money, you're now more in yeah. debt. I'm just following this, you know, this YouTube videos, you know, that says if I get $10,000 of cash flow, if I can get a business line of credit and I create an LLC, I could buy NBC Universal. <laughs> Let's talk about active income versus passive income. What's active income? Most Working nine to five job. Sell real estate, sell insurance, active income. The moment you don't show up, the moment you don't sell something, guess what happens is active income. It stops being actively deposited in your account. Okay. How many guys want the next one? Passive. Yes. Okay. What do you think you're building over here? Active or passive income? Passive. You're building passive income here. We're teaching you how to be a passive income entrepreneur, not a salesman for the rest of your life. The hardest thing sometimes in this business is waiting for people to actually step into the leadership role. You know you're a leader. You know you're a leader. You know you're a leader. You wake up every day, this job sucks. But you, you laid yourself to that job. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm a leader, but I'm not good at sales. You laid yourself into that limiting belief. Versus somebody say, enlarging in your spirit. Say, you know what? I deserve more. And guys, here's the crazy part. We're, we're, getting, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. <laughs>